What's up guys, Sutter Beast here. We are back for another NBA 2K21 of the NBA Playoffs. So, as we are ready to be set up for game number three, this is the last game two battle that we are looking at. Los Angeles Clippers once again face against the Dallas Mavericks, and still I have it in the last podium. I don't know why I did it anyway, but it looks like I chose it in the last spot to try and do it again. Well, I don't know what I picked it in the first place. You know, well, and, and, and because, like, um, you know, everything that happens to us, it just keeps it going. Like, every time, it did happen already. So, uniforms, I'm going to be uh, searching it up, is I will take a closer look to take the, uh, to take the uh, earned, uh, to take this classic jerseys. And the other hand of this section. You know what? Classic jerseys won't be won't be hard enough at all. So uh, the earned jerseys, city jerseys, would be this one, and the other one would be this kind of a city jersey, the gold. So we're gonna see what happens at this point and find out who's going to win the game. Right now, Los Angeles Clippers lead the series one nothing, and we're gonna see what the next one will be. Of course, episode 40 is out. Damian Lillard. Plus the NBA playoff simulation that if you guys have already have heard about it before. Now a question for you guys is how can 2K TV best serve the community? Play against them, more interviews, locker codes, or have T 2K TV events. Your results you any way you like it. And right now Beach Party is what they are looking at. This is our last one to uh, to take a search. From already, that's just past. Is crawling metropolis of Dallas, Anyways, we gotta look at the good look of a downtown in, in Dallas. And the court itself, well, not so happening. Because um, because they are gonna keep it with this court, and not just enough to get there in time. Morris Burke, going to be tonight's game with Greg Anthony and Kevin Harlan. Here's the end. No question that Dallas's Luka Doncic has captured league-wide admiration. Hall of Famer player and executive Jerry West said, "We are watching genius, a superstar who will go down as the best player in Mavs franchise history." Considering Dirk Nowitzki was there for a long time, Kevin, the praise from Jerry doesn't get much higher or from a loftier perch. Indeed. Indeed that time. Luka Doncic always likes to kid, take a star and just go this back on it where he wants to get you know, going. So, um, I already did the, um, the Sixers versus the Wizards, plus also with the Knicks versus the Hawks, and I, I did is the Lakers versus Suns, and now they are tied up by 1-1. So we got to be careful on this one here. We got a sudden death to take it up for game number three. So we got to keep an eye on that. And then, uh, and then uh, we did these, the um, whatever Western Conference is it. Oh, wait. It's Beverly in at the point guard. And I think I know. Kleba mm. is the four with Persingas. Anyway, let's just get into Eastern Conference. I, oh yeah, I did Nets versus the Hornets. You can check out the video if you'd like to check it out. Porzingis with a wide open shot, and he will take his first basket for three. Magic Beverly here, Leonard. Pulls up at the three, and he will take it from here. Only two, bo only two points at that time. Looks like no city court earned here for uh, for the Mavericks, but it looks like for Los Angeles Clippers, they might have one in game three when we come back. Nope, it's not a defense. Cleveland he recovers. Takes a shot off the miss. And so Beverly will bring it up for the Clippers. Beverly going up. Misses that, Misses that one, one as Porzingis will take the first rebound. Look, Kleba pass to Luka Doncic. Doncic with the layup. What a best play he had here for Luka Doncic to pick it that one up. Looks like it's glitched up a bit for the crowd. And it's turned up by Kleba. Here's Finney Smith, we'll take the outside range, takes a triple down on the board, Finney Smith has got first pointer for three. 
on the NBA. I do Leonard up again and it's missed. In connection okay. with the other. That was a little bit too much glitch already that, that did not happen. So I already did the uh, the Bucks versus the Heat already. And it looks like um, it looks like the, and the last one I did was the um, It was, um, and now it's this one I finished. And now the last one I need to get is the Utah Jazz versus the Golden State Warriors for this game. This one's the second to last, but the last one will be true at the um, at, uh, San Francisco. 11 to 4 is the score, Luka Doncic. So this is the only one last one left before uh, game three we set up. Um, first, I'll start with the Dallas Mavericks versus the uh, Clippers in L.A. Um, since season three, I already did this one before. It looks like they've done it really well at that point. Kleba with the shot, and it's good. Pass by Verzingis is confirmed. Only two assists on the board. Now Beverly will do it again. And then I will do the uh, Sixers versus the uh, Wizards in Washington. And then nextly, I will take a closer look here for Portland Trailblazers against the Nuggets at Portland. And then we'll be, and other games will be up there at that time. Paul George could not handle the two. Here's Finney Smith. Almost tipped it away. But they recover here from... Uh, Hardaway Jr. Hardaway Jr. making it out of it. The pass to Finney Smith. Finney Smith jumps it up. And we're just, we're just enough just enough open up for Porzingis to take that rebound. Doncic outside. Second chance shot. Doncic. It's hold in by. It's hold it up by Zubox. And so Beverly will bring it. Leonard with the ball. Angeles Clippers. Leonard. Against uh, against no, Doncic, he's, he's up. And he overshot that. He overshot that time since Rosingas gets another rebound. Doncic still out there. Passes to Finney Smith. Covered by Leonard. Takes another in direction, and the first foul will be on Paul George on the Clippers. That one on George. Yeah, the defender all over it. So, uh, so that time, it looks like uh, Finney Smith. Uh, I haven't never seen that play before because, of, like, what happened already? There wasn't any. Uh, I don't have any uh, anything else to say. So, without being further to know, this will be this one will be another one. Since the Islanders have already won against the Penguins, they're moving into the semifinals with only one game in between. So, yeah, that's it. No, uh, no other games left. New changes for Clippers and Mavericks that time. A few guys though will. So Gary Payton, I got to. Also, we got the Bruins with the win. They put an upset on the Capitals. Then we have his uh, Tampa Bay Lightning destroying the the, the Panthers. On the court. Then. Uh, the Hurricanes, they, they put a beat up on the Predators in game number six. And, um, and then um, it was the Winnipeg Jets. They destroyed the Oilers already. Maybe we got a shout out with that win. And now the only games left for Scotty and North is the... Um, very comfortable is the is the Maple Leafs against the uh, against the uh, Canadians? Then the Honda West we got is the Avalanche with a with a shout out win over the St. Louis Blues. Doing a really good job out there. Now the only games left we have is the Knights versus the Wilds and. Yeah, you talk about it before, it's no. We got rejection on backup. Jackson, looking over, here's Leonard, up at the two. It's good. He's coming back in right now, good pass by Jackson. With under two minutes for reigning, here's uh, Brunson. Brunson to Richardson. Richardson passes over to Finney Smith. Goes to Millie. Richardson for outside. No good. That'll be Rondo with the rebound. Clippers trail by seven. LAC moving up the two pointer. Down by three, five. You gotta love how Rondo. You gotta love what they gotta do. 
Anyway, I'll have to sub out Finney Smith anyway, so yeah. Let's just let's just do that anyway. First time out of the game. And looking to stop this run and get back on track. So timeout for the first call on Dallas Mavericks at that point. I'm not I'm not the only good guy who wants to be the uh, Mavericks fan. So don't judge me. Alright, I'll sub out and now I'm gonna sub out Finney Smith and bring uh, Hardaway Jr. in. Plus, uh, we have to switch on offense to give it a good number of one look. Hardaway Jr.'s checked in for Dorian Finney Smith. Hardaway checked in for Dorian Finney Smith. Brunson passed to Powell. Powell over up over Baca. It's good. It's good. Powell takes his first bucket of a night. D.Y. Powell, Norman Powell, that's the only two that I that I get to know what they are. Leonard pass to Jackson for launching outside. No good. Richardson passes back to Hardaway Jr. He goes to Melly. Melly will take it to assist by... Hardaway Jr. 50 seconds left for the first period. Coming down here flying fast. As I just talked about other other play playoffs in the beginning for the Stanley Cup playoffs in the NHL team in each division. We got Kawhi Leonard with another two look. The Claw is his name. For Kawhi Leonard to pick it all. That's uh that's what he has. He gets a claw, he tries to get out of here, and he messes it up. Of course, you guys already see the claws since the Inspector Gadget came out first before number two. That was on Disney. Uh, if you guys have seen the movie before, on on for uh, one of the biggest parts here that uh, that the Gadget was facing with against. Hardaway with the steal. Hardaway with the steal. Powell will go up. And here is Powell. And Richardson taking a jump jumper. And it will not be in time. That will be the end of the first quarter. 19 to 12, your score. So it looks like the Clippers are trailing by seven at that point. Mavericks are looking for a chance to tie this up if they can make it. We'll be right back for the second quarter when we get back in the action. Old school basketball. You know, and it's fun and it's light. Fans deserve it on both sides. Uh, you know, it's a good old-fashioned basketball. You, you know, it's all a part of the game. We're both trying to win. And uh, that's what we want to see. Hard nose, edgy basketball. Old school basketball. Yeah, I haven't seen that one here before, but if you guys have heard what he's playing, which school did he go to? Well, well, take a look on the Wikipedia, and you will know the answer from Bob Patrick Beverly and the draft that he got first in. Melly, good pass by Willie Cauley Stein. He will take the first assist. Melly gets a second point in the bucket. Now here's um. Man, why wouldn't they? You Here's uh, um, Very Ibaka, or, now Baca's number nine, the time for number four, I don't know. We have Hardaway Jr. with the rebound already, will he call you Stein? No one around him. And oh boy, he almost missed that shot, but he got it back in, thanks to Hardaway Jr. Made it pretty assist, but this bucket got lucky. Well done here, will he call you Stein? Jackson against uh, Richardson. Screen carried away. And it's Jackson using the glass board. Field goal updated. 56 for the Mavericks and 15 for the Clippers. Let's go to uh, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. The Mavericks have their young star tandem in Luka Doncic and Kristaps Porzingis. KP said we can be a pretty deadly duo. It's only going to be a matter of time. Once we get that two-man game going, it's going to be hard to stop. Guys, it's already hard to stop. Back to you. Team on the run. Team on the run here. Luka Doncic and Kristaps uh, Porzingis. And right now, the next timeout will be on LAC. The call out for another, another change. Hardaway Jr., I will sub him out. Right now, well, let's go ahead and uh, let's bring uh, Reddick in. JJ Reddick. Of course, you guys always know about him. Last season playing with the Pelicans. And now he switches off to the Dallas Mavericks. 
Bushy always guys know him for sure. He's definitely playing a hard, hard worker out there. So, uh, they're, yeah, they're doing really well. Uh, again, let's we gotta get to uh, we gotta get the playthroughs already. We gotta do uh, some, a couple players right here. I need Richardson to get in the uh, in the paint and uh, and on the corner of the paint. Elbow, you know. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Different look here for Mavericks and Clippers. Two, four players are something out right now. We have his uh, Beverly George, Morris Smith, and Zubox. Right now, Brunson, Hardaway Jr., Melly, and Cody Stein checking out. JJ Reddick, Mike Kleba, Porzingis, and George has checked in for Jackson. And it's Patrick Beverly. And it's, and it's, and it's uh, Christoph Porzingis with the rebound. Porzingis outside, rebounds was nine for the Mavericks, five for the Clippers, only one turned it off balance. JJ Reddick to Donkic, five on the shot clock, get it up! He's off on that target already. Five minutes left to go here, 26-14 by Zubox. Good play for, for, uh, for Zubox to get in there as he's got his first basket. Um, I think that was the assist by Batong or uh, Marcus Morris Sr. Maybe Patrick Beverly. I don't know. Richardson, just a two. And it's no good. He knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Now Patrick Beverly, covered up by Porzingis, goes up, throws it off again. Morris Senior takes the three. That will be on another three-pointer for the Clippers. Mr. Morris Senior takes his first bucket for three. Donkic pass to Porzingis. And crowd chanting, let's go Mavs. Richardson outside. Richardson takes foul on Zubox. No blocking foul or offensive foul on the Mavericks. No offensive foul here on the Mavericks. Zubox has got his first personal foul. Stop the clock at 4.03 left. Shooting two will be Josh Richardson. Glad that you guys really enjoyed the uh, Nets versus the uh, Celtics, as I will do it in game number three pretty soon for the Hornets facing against the Nets on 2K Sports. Of course, for real, you guys always know that they are they doing a lot of hard work out there. Brooklyn Nets, they're killing them already. What a play this turned out. And Richardson, Richardson takes two free throws. Here, here comes another one, Beverly. And Gover Kings covered Morris. on Donkic. Morris Sr. back to Beverly. Beverly against Donkic. Beverly trying to go for right around it. Now and the screen will be on Morris Sr. And Tom. Tom. Nice pass. Good by pass by Zubox. Well, but Tom will take a number two look here. 345 left. Luka Doncic looking over again. Didn't want to take a risk of it. Luka pass to Porzingis. JJ Reddick comes along to take a screen. And inside Reddick, no problem at all. Push, push that Porzingis with the assist after he helps him pick a screen on the change. Doncic against Beverly. And it's, it's off the target here. No block shots going on for the Mavericks. Ace could have tried to hold on to it. Oh, Porzingis knocks out Patrick Beverly's ball on that one with a dunk. Wow. That's a great defense. What a recovery for the Mavericks to help out. And we got Porzingis once again. He picks up another two points. Looks like uh, Luka Doncic was saying, I can't tell that he was just, he's just too good to play defense, but sometimes the foul gets in trouble. George in the three. Nice 
Nice pointer, and another timeout will be on the maps. Dallas, 225 left, 32-24 is your score. And if you're tuning in to the Knicks, they're, uh, they're quite losing it over the Atlanta Hawks. They lost it again. I don't know what this is going to be about, but this wasn't just enough to go for it. Let's pick another offensive look. Half court chance. We're just only 2.25 to go. And some, some new changes here for the Mavericks and the Clippers. Right now, uh, Zubac, George, Morris Sr., and Tom are subbed out. Morris Sr. and Paul George moves it over. And it's never change here. Reddick and Kleba, Powell, and Finney Smith are checked in. Richardson coming in along. Good play through, Paul. Assist by Dorian Finney Smith. And they repeatedly Assist. Inside in the George against guys, Richardson. Only two minutes to play in the first half. Here's George. George with a step back is good. He's nudging it right along it. Try to avoid the demand. Just a block on that one. Making all the right decisions right now, slicing up the defense. And there is slicing defense going along for the Clippers. Luka Doncic could have helped him out. He helps him out. Luka Doncic. Oh, he did the same thing like Willie Coy Stein did for the first period. Now he keeps shooting like he's off and over us, right under a through. Fine, Jackson, and the shot's good. Richardson takes his first personal foul. Points in the paint, called 12 points for the Clippers and 14 for the Mavericks. Now it looks like Kawhi Leonard's going to be subbing in for Morris Senior, along with Rojan Rondo for Morris Senior. One left for Ricky Jackson. Pretty reliable in that regard. Mavericks has to get loud. Come on. Rajon Rondo is subbed in for Patrick Beverly. And Jackson certainly does a lot of A speedy guard who can fill it up in no time. Mavericks. A minute and 20 to go right now. We're just under 80 seconds. Doncic kicks to Finney Smith. He passed back to Doncic. Trying to get out of, the, uh, out of bounds on the baseline. Singers Six to, to go. They got to find a shot. Richardson, could he hold up? Richardson yes, he did. Richardson, Richardson shots good. Six points for him. We're under a minute to go here for the first half. Here's Rondo. Here's Rondo. Up again. He scores right around Donkic. And how about the focus there from Rondo? Doesn't let the D get to him. Able to complete that play through contact. Donkic finding an open pass out there. We're they're helping out with the motion. Now to help here for the defender. Oh, the screen was a little bit broken up. Now the feed to Powell. Feed up to Powell. Too short. Clippers trail by eight. Clippers are trailing by eight. Outside Leonard Rondo. passed to Rajon Rondo. Three seconds between shot and Ibaka oh, with the dunk. He slams that one in that time. 39 to 33 is the score. Donkic rolling it back around. Up again. And he makes a layup. Goes for three to five on that court. A lot of emphasis on three-point shooting nowadays, but you'll take that look right there any night of the week. Leonard looking around. Five seconds. Three seconds. One. No good. End of the first half. Forty-one to thirty-three is your score. Looks like the Mavericks are just keeping an eye on the second half, and we're looking for something else. We're looking for a good play out there. Here's the air on the court side. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Kawhi, a big first half for you all offensively, but big first half for them, too. Any concern there? Uh, they're still scoring pretty good, so we got to play better defense second half uh, because we don't know if we're going to keep making the shots that we're making right now. We'll see who can get some stops, Kawhi. Thank you. Back to you, Kevin. Of course, we'd love to see that one here. We'll be right back. Halftime is the third quarter. Hey folks, we're ready to get started here for the second half as the Dallas Mavericks leads up by 41 over 33. It looks like Porzingis was, might be taking a look out there if he can make it that time. Luka Doncic is still working very hard to, uh, to keep his rebound alive along with the assist and now he's doing it again. 
just like that. Luka Doncic has got two assists in the game. Porzingis, seven points. He only had seven rebounds here, only three on the board. And one block as well. Rebounded up, and it's taken away over by Zubox with a rebound. Zubox has got his second bucket of the game. That will be his second bucket of the game, that's true. Donkic looking over it again. Mavericks to lead up by eight. Benny Smith on Kawhi Leonard. Here's Benny Smith. He finds Luka Donkic. Shoots it up. 18 for the foot. Good for Luka Donkic. Field goals up to 64. Mavericks Clippers 55. We just played one minute on the court. Over Leonard over Klebos, good. On the assist by George. Assist by George. Not kind of handling that much. About it. He has done a ton to help his Donkic looking back around. If they want to have a chance to get back in. Donkic passed to Hardaway Jr. They double him with Double Jordan. him up, going up again. Finney Smith and rolls Kleba. over to Kleba. A lot of good ball movement here. Kleba takes a two-pointer. Four points on the board, so looking so comfortable. Clippers trail by ten. Clippers trail off by ten. Oh gosh, I can't believe it. Yeah, George might be coming in to go for the attack. Beverly looking up. Rebounded by Finney Smith. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit. Who knows? But he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. He might be rushing on that. I don't know. So it, it could be the only idea that was making a mistake on him. Donkic tacks their court and one. Patrick Beverly takes the first personal foul on the Clippers first team foul. And this is his first trip going to the free throw line. Sounds sounds cool to me. A lot of play actions here. We love to hear that one. Now Paul Stein Stein is checked in. in for Dorian Finney Smith. For Dorian Finney Smith. A lot of new changes out there. Looking to see if there's another one. Dockage makes a shot. One thing he showed right away is he was prepared to be an NBA Looking player. good here for Dockage. 12 points. Be an all -star for a long time. Moving forward. Now Beverly. George. George, we're way downtown. That's good. It's the Clippers from deep. Clippers going down by 10. Sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that D can Donkic has to try something else right down there because this is not what we need to know by it. Oh, another another shot and one. Paul George takes his second personal foul. That's two in a row for Donkic. Second strip to the free throw line. Oh man, you gotta love that one. Luka Donkic is unstoppable. And after playing in the Euro League. You have to check him out in the uh, in the last game from the Euro League part of the basketball. Donkic, one shot left remaining. Stop the clock at 4:34. Second team foul on the Clippers. He hands it off and he makes it in. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Two and a half minutes here, under the quarter here. Rondo with the ball. Rondo against Brunson. To the middle. Finds a big, deeper pass, but it's taken away. Now, sign. nobody around. Drills it from outside for a three-pointer. That's his second bucket for the night for three on Willie Crawley Stein. Zubats with the screen. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Hardaway Jr., I am on George. A three-pointer again, no good. Brunson with the ball, passes up to Hardaway Jr. Another three, got it! Got the fall it in already. Looks like Brunson is just trying to give it all he has. Brunson just got itself another assist if he can play it up. They're going to go in, and that will be Rojan Rondo with a two-pointer. We're just about 3.30 left to play here in the third quarter. Brunson passes to Hardaway Jr. 
Brunson. As the Brunson, so back to Nardaway Jr. Now move to Donkits. Donkits. Moves over to Melly. Melly with a two pointer again. That's six points. By the assist. All right, now it's 61 to 42. Now he goes to pass on Paul George. Another missed free chance for the game. Brunson moving it back around again. 250 left. Pass to Donkic. Moves over to Charlie Stein. Over George. Over George. Nice and it's no good. Zubak with the ball. George on the on the carry. On the ball. Pass to Varnja. Here's D DA on the side. Thank you. Now we have seen continued growth with the NBA's affiliated leagues the last few years. About the explosion and popularity of the WNBA, the Basketball Africa, the expansion of the 2K League, the greater pay in the WNBA, and the G League pathway along with the unionization of G League players. The league continues to show its commitment to expanding opportunities on multiple levels. Guys, back to you. Thank you, David. Thank you, DA. And the next timeout is on LAC. Only 2.10 left remaining. Another point here for Luka Doncic. Well done for him. Well, let's go ahead and uh, give, him a, give him a rest right now as I will sub in for Dory and Finney's um, Dorian and Vinny Smith, of course, with Jim Hardaway Jr. as well. I'll bring J.J. Reddick back in, and then I will uh, go for two to three zone. Let's give it a shot. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. All right. Zinkis, he's checked in for college time. Maxi Kleba comes in. A lot of change around here. Rojan Rondo against J.J. Reddick. And Kleba with the steal. Just about... Going in two minutes here, J.J. Reddick will try one, and he's got it in! First bucket for three for J.J. Reddick! Like a double J. Jackson, only with an open look, it's no good. Ibaka! Wow, Levy has been quite, quite, never before seen. Brunson going right around it. He left the uh, he left with the East Conference team of the Raptors, and now he wants to play with the West Conference team in basketball history for the L.A. Clippers, not the Lakers. Brunson, double man on it, and here's Kleba. Shots off the mark, and it's Batam with a rebound. Morris Sr. looking over. I think expect them to go back. He finds Jackson. Jackson right on JJ Reddick. Rajon Rondo against Brunson. He's got six. Only six. Six on the shot clock. Morris Sr. flies for a three, and he's done it again. Morris, six points on the board. And only under a minute to go. Brunson against uh, Rajon Rondo. Pass to Porzingis. Now he goes back to Brunson. A lot of ball changing here for Mavericks. And again, back to Finney Smith, back to Reddick, back to Brunson. Six on the shot clock. Uh, but the elbow is good for Brunson. He has two, I'll have two points as the second point of a bucket. Goi Leonard is waiting for his, uh, waiting for the next whistle to be blowing up. That's correct. Another two pointer here for Reggie Jackson. Let's leave it all down on the line for a two pointer. Under 40 seconds left. Brunson passes to Reddick. JJ Reddick to Porzingis. It was wrong. Moves up. And it's 17 feet out for J.J. Reddick. Almost got a little bit pushed off by the bullet player, but he's, uh, he's okay. I can't find you. Here's Jackson. Jackson with a layup, and he's good. Jackson's got four points in the quarter. I'm not sure who was This will be ended up with the, with the third quarter. 70 to 51 is your score. We'll be right back with the fourth quarter, the last quarter left. While we take away a minute here, let's give it a look of the assist of the game presented by State Farm. How about the good look on the call? Luka Doncic 
Like he's on a struggle on this position. It looks like Maxi Kleba had gotten a good assist here. And that was a beautiful pass moment out there. We love to hear him. And as we head into the and we're ready to set things up for the uh, fourth quarter right now. 70 to 51 to score, and we are on. Leonard outside. Now he's up there. Beverly taking an open look, and that's good. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Brunson only had two points, so two points again. That's four points. Pass to Finney Smith. Now he rolls back to Brunson. Brings the double double man on him. Vinny Smith, no problem. Takes the three pointer. And they lead up by 19. Eight points for Vinny Smith. Well, well played. Jackson, why to seek revenge here immediately? Leonard for three. No good on the shot. Cleveland with the rebound. Porzingis with the ball. Only a block that he had. Batum against Porzingis. And right now it's Batum against Porzingis. I mean, Kleba. Kleba the Richardson. Shoots up to over Leonard. And that's good. New changing for the uh, field goals. 70 to 56 still. Paint to Batum. And a Kleba. I mean, Porzingis couldn't hit up two blocks in a row. As he gets away immediately. Here's Brunson. Brunson it's missed another two-pointer. He's almost out of gas now. Out of, almost out of fuel, and he has to go sit on the court. Kicks it to Morris. Sit on the bench. Morris Senior, a wide open look. Timeout. Mavericks. So it looks like the uh, we got a lot, a lot of closing games and reaction of uh, what they are doing here. Only two game killing streak for the Nets. Well done. And now game three, what's going to happen here? The champ of the mascot of Dallas Mavericks has appeared to be on the court, having a fun time out there. Looks like um, looks like everyone wants the Mavericks to get into the series. Let's set off Brunson. Uh, let's go ahead and bring back uh, Luka Doncic in. Also with Vinny Smith as well. I will have... I will have J.J. Reddick on the, uh, on the other hand. See how he does. Well. So, to see if he does, how well he can do. Denver is my next call to give it a permission. 2011 NBA champions. That's uh, that's for the uh, 2011 NBA Finals after the Mavericks take and destroy over my heavy heat. Definitely a great job out there, working very hard. Hardaway Jr. to Porzingis. He shoots up, and the foul will be on Zubox, his second. Number two free throws here for Porzingis. I know he could do it anyway, but this is what he could do if he could pick up eight rebounds again and eight points. There's one. I'm sure that Porzingis is giving a good, good play on that court. But take me on to that point because I would love to hear it. Makes two free throws. Good for Porzingis. Porzingis gets nine points on the board now. Paul George on the other hand, 5-10 left. Hardaway Jr. against Paul. It's tipped away. Nice steal by Luka Doncic. Porzingis finds Doncic. Doncic covered up by Beverly. And Porzingis going up. Almost lost the ball. He puts it back to Porzingis. Second chance effort. Hardaway Jr. going out wide alone, and it's good. And the Mavericks, lead Mavericks are still keeping it going. Just a bit again. After the assist by Porzingis. George for three. Not enough to make another run, but George is still handling it on. Assist by Kawhi Leonard. Doncic kicks to Porzingis. Shot big on Kleba. Porzingis goes over to Reddick. Reddick shoots over George. The shot by Reddick is no good. Clippers trail by 18. Clippers up by 18. 
Beverly against Donkic. And he's going up. Wow. Beverly's got five points, five points in the game, now has seven points in the game. The Under four minutes to go, 80 to 64. NBA, and now he's putting a scramble on Patrick Beverly. No man to cover in, finds Porzingis. Pass to Reddick. Six to shoot. Oh! Beverly's the oh. I almost just lost that control, but it looks like JJ Reddick got it. I thought that was going to be a miss. Well, it took too much time already. It almost turned out to be a trouble. Now the Clippers turn to take a take a timeout. Look, 83 to 64 is your score. Just getting there better. In game seven, if you're going to be looking at at this game, this is going to not going to be good at all. Wilds versus the Knights. Golden Knights. Especially, I can do it anyway. I'll sub in for D.Y. Powell, then Maxi Kleba. I'll have Melly checking in. And Tim Hardaway Jr. I'll sub in for uh, Josh Richardson. We'll keep it that way. Let's keep, crash the offensive board. Let's crash on the offense. Let's give a give it a pick and roll. Anyway. And now let's present a new balance player in the game. This one goes out to Chris Stapps, Porzingis. Porzingis, only a flop. Amazing points of the game. Just got easier. And that's what he did already because uh, Chris Stapps, Porzingis never became, an M never became a new balance player in the game. But now this might be his first time to be here for this season after a Jordan player in the game was no longer and no longer um, and this crowd can't used at that point. When he explodes George like this, outside. Special Pass to Leonard. Outside for three. No good. Melly with the rebound. That will be number one. JJ Reddick. I mean, Donkic. He passes to Finney Smith. Moves over to Melly. He's Mary Melly. Rebound by Leonard. Clippers trail by 19. Clippers are trailing by 19. Here's Beverly taking the two on one off break. Morris with two, and it's good. From 20 feet away. From 20 feet away. Not just enough to get a handle on that ball. Here's uh, Luka Doncic once more. Pass to uh, Richardson. He's all alone making a three. Another chance to go back to the top. 11 points for Robert Richardson, assist by Luka Doncic. Leonard moves over to George. George outside. That's good. Nobody was capturing on uh, Paul George at that point. He was always open at a wide three-pointer range. Luka Doncic to Melly. Melly to Powell. Oh! Oh! He's got to get out of it. And too much. That'll be LAC ball. We have got to see this. You got to see this one. One more look. That's what he looks like. Mobile one block. That was Porzingis knocking it out with a dunk. And it's not a foul to be given up by uh, Christoph Porzingis. What a play he did. Clippers trail so by 17. You forgot to see that clip anyway. With mobile and one block. Reject we foul will be on Luka Doncic. First personal. Under two minutes left here, 86 to 69. After this one will be a one last change here. As you can see, the Golden Knights already had scored one. And Leonard takes a foul, puts up a foul at the free throw line. Finney Smith with the first personal the foul, second team foul on Dallas Mavericks. He's got the hard work already the right down there. It looks like his assist was being put up by Paul George. Seems like I'm just playing like a high school uh, maniac because I just kept knocking everybody out already. And don't mind me because I'm not the only person who wants to swept them out a bit, so... Don't, don't recruit me. <laughs> I'm not the only guy who wants to do it anyway. The free throw First free throw for, for Kawhi Leonard is good. Talking about Leonard's work ethic, going We're talking about Leonard's all about his work ethic. Uh, what he is looking at. 
So he brought his. So he looks like he's brought bringing in every game. game. So uh, no when he gets his game right on the board, he knows what he can do when he has that game up on the board. To improve the drive and the desire to. Uh, nothing to say about him, but it looks like uh, how well he did. He's willing to pay. And he's willing to give it himself another try. Next time out will be on Dallas Mavericks. A minute fifty left in the So as for right now, a minute and fifty one to go. Summing out will be Finney Smith. Let's smack it out a little bit. I will have to uh, say, uh, JJ Reddick, you uh, come back in. Denver, uh, let's put it over to another one. Jazz motion, we have never done that one here. Let's give it a shot. Making a switch here. I think right now, uh, that will be another switch here for Dallas Mavericks. Here's Doncic. Here's Doncic. Passes to Melly. Melly, double guarded by a double man defender. Over Beverly. Over Beverly. Moving it up. A rebound by Powell, and he saved it. Problem from Powell as he finishes at the right. Powell picks up two and points, and he's got a second bucket of a night. Never seen him play. And Beverly kicks to Leonard. He's been playing and calling for, but it's gotten splattered out. This is going to end in a Patrick shot. Beverly got nine points. Luka Doncic, 17 points already. In the lead already. You really got to give it up here. By eight points. Powell, can he go back in? Yes! Powell is back. After along with Luka Doncic picking up another assist, the next timeout will be on the Clippers. With a minute and 14 left to play here in the fourth quarter. Just got better at that point. They, they, they seriously cannot just give up already because I, I really can. It looks like I'm just giving, I'm not, I'm not the only person who wants to like keep it going at that point. You, you guys can understand that one. Looks like under down to 70. I'm gonna have to sub you out, um, Doncic. So uh, yeah, that's it. And then uh, and then pick and roll again, just to auto. Jalen Brunson was checked in. And now the last substitution in here. Uh, well play out there, Luka Doncic. Well, let's give you a sub out. Jackson, Here's Kennard. Kennard, rolling in, up with the shot, and he took it away by Melly. Richardson, he got a ball, got a little piece of it at that point, Powell, pass to Richardson. Richardson, going to Melly. Melly over Kennard, and it's Jackson loose to Marcus Cousins with the stick over. Here's Kennard, rejected by Powell. Defense from Powell uses that impressive length to wow. come away with that rejection. Well, now Kennard has got the two points already. This We're down to under 40 seconds. Affair. Yeah, they looks like the Dallas Mavericks is going back in the series. Maintaining Powell, Brunson to Melly, Melly yeah, over to Richardson. 25 seconds left. Here's the pass to Melly. Lock at six. Melly passing to Powell. Can, have, can he have a chance to make another two? That's no good. One more possession for the Clippers before the Dallas Mavericks. He has knocked it down for a number two here. Uh, I think DeMarcus Cousins here. Last possession for the Mavericks. And there you have it. The final score for the game two, 91 to 77 is your score in the second game. That will be a series tied, 1-1. One, one. A lot of hometown advantage, and now the Mavericks will be heading to L.A. to face against the Clippers in game three and four before heading back in game five. A lot of opportunity given out already. I've seen the good plays out there. I'll send you over to David Aldridge on the sidelines. David! Hey Kevin, thank you. Here with Luca, you got the W. So, what did you think about your performance? You know, we got to win against a team that's very competitive. You know, they go hard, uh, no matter what. <laughs> uh, 
and you know, I'm just glad we got a win, and we got to keep going like that. Hey man, thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. Back to you, Kevin. I love that photo bomb here for KP. Well, folks, that's well play out there. Only a block for him, and he's a fourth and he's a new balance player of the game. Thank you for watching. We got a one last game for the Western Conference, a game number two. It will be Jazz versus the Warriors. And peace out, bitches, for as a while as the NBA playoff dial. Thank you and good night in Dallas. Bye. You probably heard how Tony is so famous. In fact, you probably heard how Tony was the greatest. I'm black and proud, honestly, I'm fateless. But y'all whack clown smirk, y'all think I'm faking. But truth be told, y'all turds, y'all just hate. And y'all yearn for rooms of gold in my rankings. All y'all fakest haters, traitors, y'all are Satan. Y'all keep saying y'all will make it, I'm still waiting.